All right, today this will be the review for the test. Hopefully this will work. So what we've got is, we'll start with this worksheet right here. Hopefully you have this one. If you don't have it, get on the website. Uh, it should be on there. You can print it off. We're going to focus on a couple of problems here. We're going to focus on the Peter problem, the Emily problem, and then we're going to come down here to Allie. So here's the Peter problem. Peter is warming up a certain amount of water. These are what we call just Q equals MCAT, meaning we're looking for energy needed to raise the temperature of a mass and C is specific heat. That'll be given to you on the test tomorrow as C of water equals, in this case, 4180. And we can have the C of copper, we could have the C of ice, we can have the C of a lot of things. That'll be confusing, but when you're finding the energy it takes to change the heat of a substance, the C of that substance is very important. So in this problem, it's Peter, or not Peter, but the water. And Peter is changing 10 kgs of water, which is 4180. And he's changing his temperature here from 100 to 20, which would be 80. And then all we have to do is multiply those numbers together. 10 times 4180 times 80. That will give us 3344,000 joules. That's how many joules it would take to change that water. That's a typical problem where you're going to be given how much it changed, what is it, and how much of it. And that will give you the energy. All right, so let's go to the Emily problem. Um, the Emily problem is you have two substances coming together. And with two substances coming together is where we do MCAT equals MCAT. So we know that the MCAT of one object will be equal to the MCAT of another object. The key words you're looking for here are equilibrium temperature. When you see that, you're going to go straight to this formula. Now it's the mass, the substance, and the half of the change, and another mass, and another substance, and another half of the change. So in Emily's particular problem, she is taking hot water, and she's taking 2 kilograms of hot water, and we already know water was 4180, and the two kilograms of hot water are at 80 degrees. But she doesn't know the equilibrium. And sorry about this, but I ran out of space. But she doesn't know where it's going to be, because she's taking those two kilograms of hot water and she's putting it in a big bath, 20 kilograms, but it's still water. And in this situation, we put the cold one next. So we go T minus 27. I'll clean this up on the next step. So hopefully we see all this. And so we have water, the small amount. It's hot, so it goes first. And we set it equal to an unknown T. That's what it's going to end up being. 20 kilograms times the water and it's going to be the cold number first, or the cold number last, with the equilibrium first. So now, what I do is I go ahead and I multiply those numbers together. So I'm going to have 2 times 4180 equals, so when I clean all this up, and I'll clean it up over here, it's going to be 8360, that came from those two numbers, 
and then 80 minus T is equal to that. A lot of kids have trouble with this part where we're going to distribute. So we take those numbers and we distribute them out. And so when we clean it up, it looks something like this. Uh, the 83600 I'll work first. Of course that's going to be T minus Twenty two five seven two zero zero. That's this side is equal to, and make sure that you have the signs right. And it's going to be a negative t because it goes to that, and then we're going to take eight three sixty times eighty. Now I combine terms, I bring this over here, I bring that over there, and so I have that number plus wind up with this massive number here equal to And that's got the T. Now I divide out that number. So the two nine two six thousand divided by one nine sixty. Thirty one point eight will be the equilibrium temperature. All right, I'm going to stop that there, and we will do the second half of this review on another video.